Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we're comparing the Westbrook Why Not 0.1 and the Nike Carry Force. Let's get it, bro. Carry Irving and Russell Westbrook, two all-star point guards, all maybe star. even superstar point guards. Superstar. Both leaders of their teams. Yep. Carry Irving at Boston Celtics, as we all know. Some man's got the Boston Celtics. So you know how it goes already. The guy does amazing things on the court. The craziest handle I've ever yes. seen. Russell Westbrook, triple, double, king. He has done Simple. something that we have never seen before. To average a triple, double in two seasons, bro. The last time this was done, just in one season, was Oscar Robertson, 50 years ago. It's mad. Before me and you were even alive. And they both have these two amazing shoes. And we want to see how they compare to each other. Let's get straight into it. So first and foremost, as always, talking about aesthetics of the shoe, this one's a bit of a no-brainer. Straight up. It's not the worst of looking shoes. To me, it might be, you know. It might be. Yeah, you're right, it might be. Again, these are our opinions. These are our opinions. So please don't hate on us. But damn, that shoe is ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Damn. So we'll just move on. We'll move on. We're, we're just going to move on. We're going to... Move right on. Now, talking about the traction in both shoes over here, the carry four, what we have is that staircase tip just modified herringbone traction pattern, which gets the job done. done. The way it wraps around in the shoe is something we've come accustomed to in carries performance sneakers. Yep. Always provides amazing traction. This shoe does the exact same thing. Love the traction in this shoe. In the Westbrook, we've got that modified herringbone made up of these individual nodes, which only recently have I realized create a pivot circle yep. in the forefoot which is great because that gives you that 360 traction as well when you are twisting and turning as such. Does the trick, does the trick very, very well. Individual node makes it adaptive. It wraps around a little bit too, so you do get that traction on the forefoot as an in inside of the shoe, if that makes sense. So you do really feel it. Does bite the floor really well. Really, really nice. Yeah, I think the traction in both shoes are really, really good. I think the point will have to go to the carry yeah. only because you get a bit more coverage in the carry you in do. terms of the way it wraps around. Yeah. And the shoe pretty much was designed for traction and with the banking in the shoe as well, the way the, the, the outsole's curved as well. So I think the traction has to go to the carry for. So next up, we're talking about cushioning. And in the Westbrook, we have full length zoom. Are you sure it's not full foot? Full length zoom. Or on the heel. Full length zoom. It's what to me? Full Lev Zoom. Fantastic stuff. Full Lev Zoom, we're both big fans of. We love it. I don't know anyone who's not a big fan of Full Lev Zoom. If you're not, trash. Um, but wow, it feels great. Responsiveness everywhere from heel to toe, from toe to heel. Full Lev Zoom feels incredible. It's responsive, it's comfortable, gives you great impact protection, close to the ground. Boom. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. Over here, what we have is an upgrading carry shoes. A shoe line that's not really known for having good cushioning, but the carry four smacks it. It has full length cushion on yep. and a zoom unit in the heel. It's the first time we've had good cushioning good. in the carry shoe. And the shoe does a good job, provides you know low responsive cushioning with some nice infrared protection as well, which yep. you get from the zoom bag in the heel. But comparing the two, full length. Zoom. Say it with me now. Full, Full length zoom. zoom. That was so mad. I don't know why I did that. Very I'm wavy. so sorry. That was that's so weird. When I, I say say it with me, you say it with I, me. Uh, what is what is it doing, baby? Next up, talking about the materials in both shoes. Over here in the carry four, what we have is mesh backed up with some nylon here in the forefoot section part of the shoe. And in the heel area, we have this synthetic suede and in the toe area as well. It's nice. Um, mixture or a nice balance between new school materials mm -hmm. and old school materials too. Not something that we've seen in the carry shoes so far, mm -hmm. so I like the hint and paying homage to um, old school sneakers in the carry four. Over here in the Westbrook, we've got that complete fused mesh upper, which completely covers the entire shoe, which of course is backed by that mesh and those other synthetic materials that really hold the foot. Then you've got your file on middle, which doubles up as your heel counter as well, which does really add to the design of the shoe, but also the practicality as well. There's not really much to talk about. Fused material is thin, it's light, 
it does take some time to break in because that's just what the material is. Yeah. But it's good all over, it's good overall. It's, it's good. It's hard to get your foot in those shoes. Hard well. to get your foot into. I think looking at both sneakers, I prefer the materials and the carry for. Right. Just because you get materials that are a bit easy to break in. Mm. And I like the suede and the leather as well that I didn't mention before that pay homage to old, old school sneakers. I think the point has to go to the carry for. Uh, I'll give you that for sure. So next up, we're talking about the fit of both shoes. The Westbrook, as we mentioned a second ago, is quite hard to get on, yeah. but for good reason. Because yeah. once it is on, it holds the foot super, super well. This file on the heel cantle we were talking about earlier does the trick. Padded also at the back as well. This fused mess up with those mesh materials under it really hug the foot and hold you down to be explosive just like Westbrook as well. So all those movements and those jumps, those turns, those rebounds, anything you're doing on the court, you're really taken care of because the Westbrook is a lockdown shoe for sure. So one of the biggest downfalls of the materials in the Westbrook is the cutting that happens in the ankle. I said it in the performance review, my poor ankles, it's tough and it hurts. It's not enough, it, it, it's sharp, okay? and it hurts. Now it's not as bad now because I've wore them a little bit more and breaking them in, but the initial kind of digging in that cutting. Oh, I have a headache now. Shame, <laughs> shame. Shame. Over here in the carry four, what we have is this nice adaptive fit with the fly wire and the forefoot area, and then the heel section where the suede was, where I mentioned before, it provides that nice ankle containment as well. The fit in the shoe is nice. Just like the traction in the shoe, this is a shoe that, that's designed for movement. Mm -hmm. Carry the way he is, the way he moves, the shoe kind of conforms and, and adapts to the way carry moves as well. So the fit in the shoe is really good. Looking at both shoes, I think the fit has to go to the Westbrook yeah, edges. Just, just by a little bit. Mm -hmm. What I don't like about them is that you can't um, change the laces in them, mm. but the shoe fits so well, so you don't have to worry about that. I think I'm just a hater, because I, I just love laces, and I like laces <laughs> my shoe up nice and tight. But the shoe gets the job done, it's hard to get on, but once your foot is in there, eventually the, fit, the shoe fits nice. So moving on to the support of both the shoes, in the Westbrook, we've got that really great fit, which I spoke about a second ago. You've got your heel counter, which doubles up as your final midsole which does the absolute trick, padding on the inside of that and this ankle strap as well. It all comes together really well, but almost too much. Now, for those who've ever had the shoe in hand or even tried them on, they know it's kind of a heavier shoe. Not, it's on the heavier side, not the heaviest, but the way it comes together does cause some restriction. Mm. So it does feel like you're not being able to do all the things you want to do because of the strap, because of the heel counter and because of the materials. Even though they're there to support, yes, but if you're definitely a regular player, maybe a smaller guard or something along those lines who maybe doesn't weigh as much, you'll definitely feel it in this shoe. So that's my only gripe against how, how, how good the support was. And over here in the Carry 4, we always get good support in the Carry shoe. And the Carry 4, again, does just that. The support comes from the way the shoe fits, which is also really, really good. Yeah. The flower wire is adaptive, which helps lock your foot down and create that support as well. We have the outrigger of the shoe, which prevents any excessive lateral movement. And then the heel containment, again, helps um, lock your heel in. So your foot is just contained in the shoe and provides good support. Carry, as you guys all know, is a really quick, handle for life kind of player and he requires good traction and good support and the shoe just works well together it's almost like this it's, it's, it's harmony Ooh. in the shoe do you know what I mean and it, it all does that one job it just performs really well and then supporting the shoe is also really really good looking at both shoes I prefer the support in the I carry agree. four I don't know if the support in the Westbrook is better because it's hard to say which is better which you prefer that's true do you know what I mean but I just feel too restricted in the Westbrook. Yeah. I think that's where the point has to go to the carry for. I agree. Because it's not too much and it's not too little. You can have too much of a good thing. Yeah. And that's exactly yeah, the best way to describe the support in the Westbrook. 100%. Last and definitely not least, talking about the price in both shoes. And this is a weird one. The carry retails for £105 and the Westbrook's for £115. Now the point doesn't go to the carry because it's cheaper. It actually goes to the Westbrook's. Because I believe, we both believe, I agree. that we get better value for our money in the Westbrooks. Full length zoom is not a joke. Doesn't come and right often. Timmy, I don't know if you can remember the last time you got full length zoom in a shoe that cost £115. Some years back. 
some years back. Years back, back in the, the golden age, I call it. The golden, golden age, age. yeah. Golden age. I think it was the the um, Hyper Revs. Hyper Rev? 2016, 2015? One of those. One one of those. those things. I didn't like the look of those. The ones that Paul George wore. Um, and he loved those, and I think they had four length zoomers. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they, yeah, were, they yeah. were a nice price. To get a four length zoomer is not a joke. Okay. People, it's not a joke. It happens very rarely, and the shoe provides that. For Westbrook to get four length zoomer in his first shoe, priced at 115 pounds. Saying something. I'm very happy with that. Saying something. I'm, I pay 115 pounds for four length zoomer. I'd happily pay the 10 pounds different if yeah. you're telling me easily. You get this, you get that, but I get full length for 10 pounds more. Easily. I might step over to the yeah. side. Like so the point has to go to the Westbrook for that one. So all right, guys, there you have it. So it looks like the Kyrie four has come out on top again, four three. It looks like the Kyrie remains undefeated so far, which is to be yeah. to be expected. To be but expected. Pretty dope. You know what? I'm kind of surprised because for me, the Kyrie Four is a better performer. No, oh, yeah, facts. And I would have thought before coming into this, doing this video, that the Kyrie would you know blow the Westbrook out of the water. So I'm kind of surprised on how close the score mm -hmm. is. It just shows the Westbrook's not it's not to, it's not a joke team. It's not, it's I mean? not to be slept It on. is a very very good not shoot. To be but the carry comes out on top once again. So all right guys, that's it from us. Don't forget to like this video and show us your support as you guys have already have. Hit that like button and comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top, if it's the Kyrie 4 or if it's the Westbrook 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at purekicks.ig and on Twitter as well at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to ensure you don't miss a thing when it comes to pure kicks. You hit that button, they'll let you know every time we drop a new video. So guys, that's it from us. This is the Westbrook Why Not 0.1. It's the Nike Carry 4. We're pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.